start recording this. So if you don't want your uh, vid cam uh, to show your face, please just turn it off. And also, of course, you know how to use the chat function. So we'd love your questions. So if you want to ask any questions of us, please just pop them into the chat. And a little bit later, we'll actually get to those questions and answer them for you. Right, so my name's Leonie Dronganellis, and I am the Dean of the Residential College here at Trinity. And Trinity College is affiliated to the University of Melbourne. So if you are aiming, and I'm sure you will get there, to go to University of Melbourne, Trinity College is definitely a place you're going to want to have a look at. So just before, again, we get going, I'm going to introduce a couple of people that are here with us. So we have some Trinitarians that are currently on campus with us. Izzy, maybe wave. Hi, Izzy. And hi, hi. Olivia. Thank you very much for joining us. I know that the, everybody who's online is going to be far more interested in listening to you than to me. And also, Chris, can you just wave, Chris, please? Hello, everybody. Chris is our admissions manager, and he will talk about our admissions process a little later on. So I am just going to share my screen with you, and we're going to have a little look uh, around Trinity and a chat about what it is. So first of all, of course, what is a residential college? Now, residential college, that's what it is. You live here. However, it is far more than just a place to live. It is a place that's a home for lots of people. Uh, you get your own room, uh, you share bathrooms, just like you do at home. We feed you. Hey, Izzy, what's the food like? Oh, we're on mute, Izzy. Chris, have you unmuted us? One second. Sorry, everybody, just a tiny little hiccup here. Okay, I'm going to tell you about the food while Izzy comes on. So come on when you can, Izzy. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the food is absolutely fantastic. We're fed incredibly well. And of course, we have people from all over the globe. So dietary needs, we cater for whatever is actually required. We're lucky enough to have fabulous chefs who can do that for us. But moving on from what is food like, I know that's fundamental, but what else do you get at residential college? Um, one of our key points uh, that is so important to our students and making sure that their life as they start a university um, is really successful is our tutorial program. Um, our tutorial program uh, supports our students with academic work, uh, teaching you how to do academic writing, very different to being at high school. Um, and uh, our support there is, is really paramount in making sure that our students are successful. Um, and we have academics visiting us. Now I'm gonna try Izzy again. Izzy, are you back? Are you with us now? Yeah, oh, good. fabulous. <laughs> Izzy, do you use the tutorial program and do you think it's valuable? Yeah, yeah, I use it a lot. I'm in third year now, so um, I've had quite a few tutorials and um, even this sem when we've had them on zoom um, they've been really good and Olivia who's now our academic sort of advisor um, is so helpful and it's very easy to get um, the, any help you need and extra help you didn't even realize you needed so yeah it's really good. In fact I think that's a really key point isn't it Izzy even help you didn't realize you needed and I think that's something when you're in, in your first year and you move from um, high school um, to university the whole routine that you're used to sort of goes out the window and you're suddenly at your own resources. So Olivia can you just tell us a little bit about whether it supported you in your first year and how that might have helped? Oh, it definitely supported me. Um, like, I really didn't know what to expect coming into university. And um, the tutorial program was really helpful in pr helping me prepare for assessments and learn how to study at university and meet people who are doing similar subjects. So I really got a lot out of it in my first year in particular. Great. Thanks very much, Olivia and Izzy, on that. Now, of course, um, I know that all of you online at the moment are actually deep in study and academic mode, and it would be probably quite fun to hear about the other side of college life because there is a lot more um, to balance out here. And so we have a wellbeing program, um, and our wellbeing program, of course, helps our students socially and emotionally as they are just living away from home or even away from boarding school because some people may have come from a boarding environment. But it's sort of, the wellbeing team helps support uh, the um, step from home 
uh, high school into university and adult life, because that's what you are when you come to university. You're an adult for real. Um, but we run sporting teams, a million different clubs that you can imagine. There's so much on offer, it's really hard for me to tell you about. So again, I'm going to flick back to uh, Izzy. Izzy, let me know what sorts of things were you, I mean, I know you would have, you know, there's the usual hockey and the football. What are some of the unusual things you might have been able to get involved in? Not just sport, we have art, drama. Yeah, um, some of the musical things I've gotten involved with would be like the musicals, both first year and second year, and then um, Battle of the Bands, which is really, really fun, um, which is against all the other colleges on the Crescent. And um, Trinity makes one band, and then we go to a big um, venue, and we get to perform in front of the whole crowd from other colleges. So it's it's really cool because it's a really big stage. Um, and then, yeah, I've just done swimming and other stuff I can't think of much other stuff but like yeah, there's a lot of in the musical um aspect there's a lot of opportunities to perform and um yeah I think one of the really interesting things when I came because I haven't been here that long I think this is an amazing place but you know going to high table a high t a, a, a table and listening to people read their poetry um or hearing a person read a portion of an essay that they've written um it, or singing something that they've decided to learn or to play. Um, it's, it's a really unique environment. Olivia, have you had an exposure of that type of thing, being able to be involved in something that's a little different to what you might have done at school? Um, yeah, I, to be honest, like, um, I really enjoyed um, the leadership opportunities um, that Trinity provides, especially um, as you progress um, through your time at Trinity, um, you can get more involved in um, the leadership aspect of clubs and societies. And so last year I was on the outreach committee and um, also was on the international students committee and really enjoyed that aspect, um, working with other people who are passionate about um, uh, you know, whether it was uh, community service or supporting international students. Um, that aspect I really enjoyed. Um, and there are a lot of opportunities to be a leader in the community as well. And I really appreciated that. Great points, Olivia, because leadership is a really important component of college, uh, but also that word passion that you just said, following a passion. Uh, it certainly is a place that you can pick up on a thread of something that you've had an interest, but not had the time in year 11 and 12 to do. You will find something that you can really get involved in um, and, uh, you know, learn something perhaps that you haven't learned before. Now, uh, we've talked about what life is like here. Now we're going to show you what life is like here. And uh, we have a lovely young lady, Jasmine, and another one of our current students, she's going to do a virtual tour for you um, of the college because of course we have a really beautiful college. It's right on the um, University of Melbourne and it um, has absolutely beautiful common spaces. So here goes Jasmine. Hey everyone, I'm Jasmine and today I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of Trinity College. This is our beautiful dining hall. We have our formal dinners here a few nights a week and also many of our events. We get to wear our academic gowns, which is a really lovely tradition. This is our cafeteria where we get breakfast and lunch. We have a salad and sandwich bar. And this is where we get our hot food from our lovely kitchen staff. This is our incredible new building, which opened up only just this year. And we've got this great common space for all of our social activities and functions. We have many communal study spaces to use on campus. This is one of our comfy new rooms, which you can make your little home for the year. And here is one of our shared bathrooms. And we've got laundry facilities on every floor. We have a few buildings with student rooms, so let me show you inside another one. Your corridor kind of becomes like your family for the year. You do lots of fun activities together, like corridor dinners and some events, and there's a student leader on every corridor for support and to help you feel at home. Hey, Oscar. Hey, Dad. We're lucky to have such amazing grounds and facilities here at Trinity College, and so many opportunities to get involved to really enrich your university experience. 
And of course, you can make heaps of friends by getting involved in intercollegiate sports, the play and the musical. So if you're thinking about studying at the University of Melbourne, which is just over there, by the way, we'd love to have you at Trinity College. So take care and hopefully we'll see you soon. Well, I just want to say thank to Jasmine. Every time I see that, I'm just amazed at what a beautiful place we're lucky enough to live in. Um, and uh, Jasmine actually touched on um, how important um, our friendships are here at the college. And it's one of the things that um, we really feel define us because every single person is welcome. And in fact, I can welcome Tom as well. Hi, Tom, just in Hello. time. It's lovely to have you here as well with us. Thank you, it's good um, to be here. Tom is also one of our students and he's here to chat too with his, about his experience. So of course, uh, be, being at college, um, it's, it is about making friends. It's about um, uh, being able to walk in um, from anywhere in the world across Australia. You may not know anybody. Going to a university is pretty daunting initially when you've come from a lovely school for quite a long time. You've got your cohort of friends. Um, you step into a new world. The best thing that can happen to you is to be able to connect with people quickly. So I'm actually going to ask Tom because he's with us. Tom, your very first day, how did that feel coming to Trinity? Well, definitely very daunting. Um, going to any place that is new, um, you've a lot of nervous energy. You don't know who you're going to meet, how you're going to fit in. Um, but my first day of uh, first day coming in was OWIC and I was welcomed at the gate by some really lovely people. Um, we had um, buddies who were like welcomed out to our room, showed us around, um, and activities got underway. You know, then you get your icebreakers, you get to know a lot of people. Um, I felt it was very, very easy to make friends. And then having started uni like a few, a week later, I already had the Trinity community like behind me. I um, already had friends in there. So it a bit, took a bit the pressure off of, um, of, of going to university and having to like talk to everyone. Um, and it is a difficult place to make friends in university um, because it is such a big space, um, like it's such a big cohort. It's very, very different, uh, very, very different socially um, to how you would have it in high school. So yeah, having that training committee really was important to me at the start. That's great. Thanks, Tom, because I know that you're a local Melbourneian, but Olivia, you were from inter inter international. So you came from Hong Kong, I think, didn't you? Yeah. And, and that must have been like you absolutely knew nobody. Yeah. What was, what's it been like for you? You're now third year. Do you feel that you have a really strong friendship network? Yeah, no, I'm so grateful for Trinity. I didn't know anyone coming to Melbourne for university and I didn't know anyone at Trinity. So it was definitely very scary for me to come all the way over here and um, yeah, not really knowing what to expect. And so it was, uh, it was really great that um, I was able to become part of this community and meet people so quickly. Um, and yeah, like Tom said, like you meet people so quickly through orientation week activities and, you know, especially people in your corridor become part of your family. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's been great. And I have a lot of really great friends as a result. Great. So I won't ask you, um, Izzy, but I know you're from interstate, um, and it's sort of equally a big journey, isn't it? Um, look, down the bottom, I think uh, your chat line, I think we've maybe got some questions. So I'm just going to ask Chris if he could let us know if there are any questions that um, Izzy and Olivia and Tom might be able to help us with. Sure, one of the questions was, um, what's a typical day like? That was one question I've just had now. Great, I'm gonna ask Izzy, go Izzy. Okay, <laughs> well, it depends. Um, we have very, been very different this year, but usually like you wake up, you go to breakfast and we've got like a lovely hot breakfast there. And then usually have a tutorial lecture that you'll go into uni for or just come to your room, go on Zoom um, as it's been this year. But, um, and then you come back for lunch and then tutorials in the afternoon, maybe you'll get a bit peckish. There's always toast time at um, 3.30, which you can go just have a bit of a socialize um, with. And then, yeah, formal hall during term time is 6.30. And you have like a nice half hour there where you sit with everyone and you just sit at, um, formal hall's really good because you just sort of just fill up the tables from the front. And you so you can't go with like a whole table and, or only sit with your friends every night. So you're always sitting with um, a group of different people. So it's a really good way to make sure everyone knows everyone in the college, which I think is something that Trinity really 
prides itself on. And then, yeah, usually on the weekend, there'll be some sports. There'll be sport training in the morning or night. You go out to the ball after dinner and have a sit around. And then usually people have tutorials later, college tutorials that they'll go off to. But, yeah. Study does feature quite large, doesn't it, Izzy? But so does some fun. Um, so, um, Olivia, what are some of the fun things you might do in your daytime? Because that, that's excellent uh, weekday structure, Izzy. Work, <laughs> shoots, parents love to hear that as well. But um, is there a little bit more to life, Olivia? Yeah. Yeah, so, well, during the weekend, on weekends too, there's, um, you know, sports practices, um, sports games, the social sports, um, you know, when the play and the musical are coming up, uh, people have rehearsals, and we also have our acapella groups that people are involved in, and they have rehearsals, um, and so there's always a lot going on, and a lot you can get involved in, um, and it's also a great way to get to know people. Um, especially from maybe other year levels or other um, corridors. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Any other questions there, Chris? We certainly do. Yes. Um, this is a question. We've actually got an, uh, an international applicant, um, but it could be applied to the rest of Australia. So how does the college plan to deal with COVID, both traveling interstate or traveling internationally? How would that work? Great question, that one. And I, I guess um, it's one that we're all tackling with at the right at this very moment, isn't it? Um, so we will um, approach COVID as safely as we possibly can. Um, so of course, we have a COVID safe plan. Uh, we have international students currently. Some of them are living with us right now because they didn't get to go home or they chose not to go home. So they will remain with us until borders reopen. Um, we have some international students that will remain uh, connected to us uh, this coming semester, but not return to us, but online, they connect with us uh, online, they stay as part of our community. Um, we also have um, students that really are across Australia uh, who will remain connected with us. But we of course have really safe plans about how we live at college together. Um, we're governed by the same rules as everybody else is at the moment. Um, but I, one thing I can say, and maybe um, Olivia, you've been on campus, well, you've all been on campus most of the time now. Um, it's Despite COVID, we still are very cohesive, aren't we? And it's still a really warm, loving place to live, is my feeling, because I actually live here as well. Uh, Livy, did you want to comment on it? Comment on it? Because uh, you tried to get home and you couldn't get home. Yeah, so I did try to get home, but couldn't get home because of um, the overseas travel ban for Australians. Um, and so I ended up staying. Um, but I've really um, been grateful for my time here. Um, you know, people have organized activities um, during, you know, isolation. You know, for example, there was like fitness classes and um, various other things that went on um, during um, isolation to keep people busy. Um, and um, yeah, no, and it was really lovely. People were very supportive of each other. Um, and, you know, the college provided a lot of well-being and academic support during this time as well. And so, um, yeah, I'm just very grateful for the support that I've gotten during this time. Thanks, Thanks Livy. And got uh, some quick, got some, so I've got some quick fire questions, if yes. you don't mind. Yeah. Um, are you supposed to apply to college before you get a place at, at Melbourne Uni? Yes, and we're going to go to Chris in just a, sec a, se a second to, to, we'll finish off the questions, to talk more about the admissions process. Uh, but you definitely do apply for college before you get your uh, VCE and your offer um, at the Uni of Melbourne. Were there any other questions apart from admission questions? Yes, a few. How many residents do you have at Trinity? Oh, 386. Um, is applying to Trinity very competitive? It can be. But most people, it's worth a go because we, and from one of the things we forgot to talk about, guys, was our diversity. We are very keen on having a very diverse uh, trinity. We love to have people from everywhere um, and every different type of person. We don't look for one particular type of person. You know, to have a really rich, exciting, innovative um, and creative college, we need lots of different people. So please don't be thinking there's one size that fits all here. Um, I don't know whether you want to comment on that, Izzy. I, I just think we have so many different types of people here and we manage to really thread together very well. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I think it's, it's very um, 
accepting like even I didn't get um accepted into Trini straight away and so I had to call up and be like oh what's going on it was a bit stressful but then I got in and I was really grateful to be here and everyone's so friendly but everyone is it's very different characters and um you but you learn everyone learns to live really well together and that's a very good learning process as well having different we, we, we aim to be very inclusive um next question Chris yep. um what's the link with the University of Melbourne uh, so we're an affiliated college with the University of Melbourne and Trinity College is actually the very first college. So it's the oldest college on the Crescent with the University of Melbourne. Um, we have um, agreements with the University of College, uh, the University of Melbourne, where we um, work together. So when you come to the college, one of the uh, conditions that you come into the college with is that the University of Melbourne uh, gives us our academic team, your academic results. Because one of the things that we really want to do is to make sure that you are successful here. Uh, and by having your results, that means we can help uh, work with you uh, to help uh, ensure you're getting the support um, that you need to be successful. So it's a really important relationship. Our tutorials, our tutors, also have access to the curriculum and they know what the university to, uh, lecturers and tutors are teaching so that they can actually uh, dovetail very neatly with that. Exactly. I hope that answers that question, Chris. Perfect, yep. Uh, we just had a, a student who's finished their IB, the International Baccalaureate. Can they apply? Absolutely, yep. please do. We'd love to see you here as well. Um, if somebody's applying for architecture or some design, do they have to make a portfolio before coming? Not coming here, that's for the University of Melbourne for you to be applying there. You come here as a student. We love our architectural design students. And one of the things I will tell you is that uh, there is a component of that course that can be a little bit expensive. We cover that for you. So the software, the specific special software, we actually, because we have a fabulous library and our library has access and provides uh, many of the textbooks and things like that, that you actually need. So that also saves our students money. That's correct, Olivia and, and and uh, Tom, that you use the library and you access the resources? Well, definitely for sure. Um, I haven't had to buy any textbooks. I've, I've found them available at the Trinity Library. Or if they don't have them in stock, the staff are friendly enough to order them for us and make sure they are available. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Good. Do we offer places for only first years? No, we don't. Uh, we do love our first years, but also we love to have a bit of a cross section. Um, we don't have many places for second and third years because luckily, and we're looking at uh, three of them now, luckily people really love being at our college and it's a first to third year. We really do aim to value add first to third year. So we like to keep our students. Um, but Every now and again, you know, we have students who go and exchange in second and third year. Um, so, you know, we do have a small number of spaces for second and third years. Thanks. So hopefully apply anyway and try your luck. Amazing. One of the, one of the um, listeners doesn't have their grades yet. Is it possible to make a provisional uh, application without the grades? Uh, most of you will not have your grades. What we actually ask you to do, because I know that around about this time, you've already got that provisional, you've got some idea of what you think your uh, grade will look like, your, your um, uh, Uni of Melbourne score, your uh, v VCE. I'm from uh, WA, so I think it's the VCE, isn't it? Is that what we're after? You will have um, a, a predicted. So please just pop that in. Um, we will ask you, once you get... Um, uh, your um, University of Melbourne offer, we will be asking you to send that to us and uh, that confirms your place. Thanks. Um, do we offer scholarships? We do offer scholarships and all of that information alongside our fees is actually on our website. So I really would love you to um, uh, check out our website um, and I'm popping up our, our follow us um, and our website um, details right now. So please check out our website and you'll get lots more information um, there as well. Thanks. Um, I'll explain the application process very shortly, but we've had Thanks. an excellent question. What, does, what do you study, Olivia, Isabel and Tom? Ah, great question. Go, Olivia. Um, so I'm a, I'm a Bachelor of Science student I'm majoring in psychology. Izzy? Um, I am a Bachelor of Arts majoring in history. And Tom? And I'm also a Bachelor of Science student so in my second year majoring in neuroscience. Neuroscience, wow. Excellent, guys. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's a nice breadth across here. Psychology, <laughs> art, and... Um, Science, uh, neuroscience. Uh, Chris, any other questions that we need We've to? We've covered most of them actually, so maybe I'll talk a little bit about the application yeah. process. So 
we're coming up to our busiest time of the year in terms of our applications. So the sooner you, you think about applying, the better. Every student who applies will be offered an interview. We make sure that we interview because we want to get the, the, bro the broadest range of people to make sure that our college is full of um, people who are passionate about what they're studying and what they want to do in the future. So you will all have an interview with two members of the Trinity College staff. I will ask you about your experiences. Um, you'll also need to do a personal statement and you'll need to get some references from a personal reference and an academic reference. The sooner you start thinking about those things, the better because your teachers get really busy. Um, all the application details are on our website. It tells you exactly what to do. And if you're thinking about applying for a scholarship, you can find the information on there. Make sure you prepare for your interview as well because um, we are looking for people who are passionate about what they love. Great, Chris, thank you. Good advice. Um, don't want to make an interview too daunting. We really want to see the best of you. So we make mm. the interview, um, it's a relaxing, um, it might, might not sound like an interview, sounds really scary. It really isn't. Uh, we want to help you through, but we also want it to be sort of a learning opportunity for you because we know that for some of you, it will be the very first interview you've ever uh, been through. So we want to sort of help you work through that process. Um, Olivia, can you remember your interview? Yes, um, I actually can remember it. Um, Did yeah, you get scared I, I, before you came in. Yeah, I was a bit scared to be honest. Um, yeah, I think it was probably the first interview that I had ever done, and so I just didn't really know what to expect. Um, yeah, it was it was quite scary, but um, once I got in there, and um, yeah, I, it was it was not too bad. Yeah. Somebody just asked about the questions and unfortunately we can't share too much about what they will ask, but it's not academic based. We're not going to be testing you on your academic knowledge. We're going to be thinking about whether you will be a, a great candidate for Trinity College because we will give you lots of things, but we also expect a lot back from all of our students. Absolutely, because we want everybody to contribute to this amazing place. And we also want you really to grow um, with here. Uh, being there. So um, Izzy, can you remember, because the questions that we ask you questions in the interview that are really about you and they're really to help you. Um, so it sort of frames your thinking through the interview. So we really help guide you by those questions. And the questions about what do you believe in? What do you think about things? How do you feel about things? Um, it's that sort of thing. Is, can you think yeah, it's, it's pretty um, relaxing. I did mine over um, Skype and because uh, I'm from WA and I had a friend, I caught up with a friend who was at Trinity before and we had a little discussion about it, but like you can't really, you don't really know what they're going to ask you, but it's like your interviewers will be so kind and nice. They're all staff here and they just want to get to know you. So it's, you don't have to perform or anything. You just like, they're like, what's your favorite sport and why do you love it? And so you just talk about that and you talk about things about you, like it's easy to talk about you. So I wouldn't stress about it too much. Yeah, and we're not there to trick you. We're really not. We're really there just to find out who you are as a person. Um, great, Chris. So that that's probably um, uh, wraps up our admissions. So I think, Chris, we'd love to share the second video because it also uh, has some uh, stories from some of our alum that have been here. I came to Trinity from a tiny little country town in central Victoria. I didn't really know what a college even was. I was very nervous. I did not know anyone. And my first experience was great. I mean, stepping through those gates on day one when everyone greets you. Everyone is in the same boat. No one knows anyone, but everyone wants to make mates. It's challenging to fully describe what Trinity College is. It's obviously a combination, but it's a lot more than that. It's a bit of a melting pot of just talent and people. It's a really fun and supportive place to be. Community of friends, essentially. From all around Australia, all around the world. I think it's a place for everyone to, to grow and learn. And I think to that point, it's a place where you can go and go and do things you never thought you would. Musicals, plays, drama, singing in the acapella group, academic tutorials. There, there's a plethora of leadership opportunities. Almost any sport you can imagine. I did a lot of volunteer tutoring. The list kind of goes on and on. The friends that I made and the relationships I made and the people I got to meet opened me up to many experiences and opportunities that I never would have otherwise. 
honestly, it's an incredibly enriching place to live. You develop academically, socially, emotionally, uh, professionally. Having that attitude, that mindset that I can take forward into the future that will really, I guess, help me you know, live what I hope to be a more enriching and engaging and exciting life than I would have if I hadn't have gone to college. You do belong in a place like Trinity and there's so many things that it can offer you. And if that's, that's where you want to be, then you should reach out and you should go for it. Gets me every time, that one. It's wonderful to see. <laughs> it really is. And uh, I, I think the, the key line there is you do belong at Trinity. Uh, we would love to see you on a tour. We're doing virtual tours this year. Um, but maybe some of you have actually already been here if you've visited uh, the University of Melbourne. Um, but we would love to see you somehow. And again, check that out on our website because we'll explain to you there how you can get to see us. Um, and we would love to do that over the next few weeks. Now, I would just like to do a little bit of a shout out to all the career counsellors who uh, helped uh, get you all on, on uh, this web today. Uh, so thank you very much, everybody, for doing that for us, helping with this organisation. I'd also like to say thank you to Olivia and to Isabel and Tom. Really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I, I think, you know, when you said uh, it's easy to talk about ourselves, I think it's so easy for us to talk about Trinity because there's so much to love about it. Um, check us out, as I said, on the website. Follow us on our Instagram. Um, best of luck for your exams. I know it's hard at the moment and I know we've had a really challenging year, but I promise you, keep working because guys, Izzy, Olivia, Tom, best years of your life are your university and college life. True? Wave if that's true. Yep. So it is. <laughs> it is. Um, so please, everybody, keep working. Um, you're right in the middle of it, so it probably feels still a bit of a way to go, but I promise you it's worth it. We'd love to see you. Best of luck. Goodbye.